Gabriella Simone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Gabriella Simone. This channel is all about beauty, lifestyle, and fitness. And if you're not new here, welcome back. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I will be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. This routine takes me about maybe 15 max. I'll say it's 30 minutes, but this is the routine that I basically do on an everyday basis. So I thought I would take you guys along with me while I do my routine. So if you guys want to see how I get this beautiful look, just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I always start with some primer. I know a lot of girls like to do skincare before, but I don't really do skincare before because I have really, really, really sensitive skin, so I can't do skincare like six, seven times a day. I do wash my face in the morning and then I moisturize with shea butter, but other than that, I don't really do much before I do my makeup. I am in the process of getting like a whole new skincare routine, so hopefully you guys will be getting that video soon as well, but for right now, I don't do any skincare before my makeup except moisturize with shea butter. Now that we got that little disclaimer out the way, the first thing that I go in with is primer. The primer that I use is the e.l.f. primer. It is the Power Grip primer, and this is the one with the 4% niacinamide in it. They also have a blue one that's just the regular Power Grip primer, but I got this one because I thought if it has niacinamide in it, it could be good for my skin. And if you see me looking like this way or down here, it's because you guys are sitting right in front of like my vanity mirror, so... I'll probably be looking that way and I also have like my own side mirror right here so I'll be looking down as well so I just go in with like one or two pumps or like one and a half pumps and on the package it says to pat this into your skin but I rub it personally I don't really feel like patting like does much I feel like that's just kind of wasting the products what I do is I focus it on like my nose and my t-zone area first and then I'll just kind of spread it out everywhere after I rub it in, I'll go in and I'll just like pat it into my skin. But as you can see, like it is a very sticky and tacky primer. So that's why a lot of people love this Power Grip primer. After I go ahead and apply my primer, I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I've been using this for years. This is my go-to. I just use an angled brush that looks like this. And then I also use a spoolie. They just brush my eyebrows up and then back and then I go in with the dip brow and I literally just follow the natural shape of my eyebrow and I literally just follow the line under, do it over and fill it in. When it comes to the front of my eyebrows, I don't go in with any more product. So I'll just use whatever is remaining over from me filling it in. And I'll go in with a very light hand and just make a very subtle line underneath my eyebrow. And then I'll go in with a light hand again and just make very sparse hairs in the front to create that ombre effect. After I have both of my eyebrows done, I go in and I conceal my eyebrows. I am currently using the Morphe Filter Effect. This is the Soft Radiance Concealer. This is in the shade Rich 30. And this is a concealer that's like pretty much my skin tone, if not one shade lighter. I'll go in with just this flat, skinny concealer brush. And again, all I do is I follow the natural line of my eyebrow and I conceal them on both the top and the bottom. And then once I get the curve that I want on both the top and the bottom, I just blend it out. And then I do the exact same thing to the other side. So I'm going to do that off camera and I will be back. And the very last step that I do when it comes to my eyebrows is putting on a brow glue. So I'll just take the product and I'll go upwards in the front, very lightly in the front because this is colored brow gel. And then I'll go a little bit more aggressive in the back. And this just keeps the eyebrows in place so that they don't move throughout the day. You can also use clear eyebrow glue gel. They do have that for some brands. Or you can even use like the brow lift glue from e.l.f. Instead of using foundation, I've been using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint. This is in the shade 20. And when I tell y'all this match is quite insane. And I just put a little bit on each side. 
my cheeks i'll put a little bit down my nose and then on my forehead as well i'm gonna show you guys how easily and how beautifully this skin tint blends like literally just look at how beautifully and you can see it covered up some blemishes it's not supposed to be like full coverage but it did cover up some blemishes you literally can't even see that i put anything on just how beautifully that blended out like like it's full coverage enough to you know blend out some dark spots or some blemishes but it's not like super full coverage to the point where it feels like you're wearing like 3,000 pounds of makeup and this literally feels like you're not wearing a thing like it literally feels like i didn't put anything on my face and i'm literally starting from scratch like i can't feel anything and then also don't forget to blend onto your neck because we do not want a line of demarcation next step that i'll do is i'll go in with a blush so the blush that i'm using is the Huvia's place blush this is in the shade barbie rose this one is very 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 pigmented and this is for the melanin girlies like is this pronounced Huvia or juvia i hear everybody say juvia but i've always pronounced it Huvia. i don't know why but in my head the j is silent you have to go in with this like very very lightly i'll just go in with a dot like that that is too much like too much that's literally all you need that is all you need no more mm -mm. no more no more you got a two day trial before i take my time to make you pay three day trial before i make my mind in this always child 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 I know I look quite insane, okay? I know I look insane. You don't have to tell me. Remember when the first time I ever used blush, which was like six, seven months ago, was when I really started getting into blush. I was doing my makeup. My mom walked in on me doing my makeup and she thought I looked crazy. Like she literally thought I looked like a clown. And I was like, hold on, okay? Give it some time. Let me, let me finish, okay? <laughs> but after I go ahead and blend out my blush, I'll go in with my concealer. And I'm using the same concealer that I used before to conceal my eyebrows. And previously, I was using concealer that was like two, three, four shades lighter than my skin tone. And I was wondering why my makeup looked yellow and very pale. That's why. So with my concealers, I go in underneath my eye and I kind of make like a triangle shade. And I go all the way down. And I'll either bring it like in the crease of my nose as well and I'll do the exact same thing to the other side and then I'll also put some concealer on my chin and on my forehead just like that so I was supposed to do this first but since we're a little out of order it's okay but as of recently for my contour i've been using the danessa myrick's yummy blurring skin tint but i'll go in with this dense contour brush and i'll dip it in the yummy skin tint and i'll follow the line that's right underneath my blush which is where like the indent of my face kind of is and i'll just go in and follow right underneath my blush and just pat it in my skin and follow that line And then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side is just follow underneath that blush line. Do the same thing on my forehead and just follow the perimeter of my face. Before I go ahead and blend out my concealer, it is still drying, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. So I'll use the exact same Vanessa Myricks product. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I have like a shaded spot in my nose, like right here, that goes into my eye. So what I'll do is I'll just take the product and I'll literally just follow that line, focusing it here first, right in that crease area. And then I'll go and blend it out into my eye. And then after I get the desired shade that I want with that crease, and I'll just literally bring it right down my nose, like so. Like that. And I'll do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that I have my nose contour placed, I'm now going to go ahead and start blending out my concealer. And I just recently started using brushes for concealer instead of sponges. I'll follow my eye shape and blend it a little bit into the blush as well. Parting 
next door album is so good and i'm going to his concert in july and i can't wait I So after I go ahead and have everything blended out, I now go in with my powder. I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I've been using this powder forever. I've been using this powder ever since their packaging was like this. So this packaging was like years ago because even the font is freaking huge i actually don't bake anymore even though this is a setting powder i don't bake i'll go in with a triangular powder puff and i'll just use whatever is left on the pan already and i'll just dab it in there and then i'll take whatever excess is on there and just dab it on the back of my hand so that it goes on my face pretty smoothly exactly where i put my concealer is the exact same places i'm going to put my powder and like i was saying i don't bake anymore so what i'll do is i actually pat the powder into my skin so i don't use too much so that it doesn't leave like a white cast and leave me looking like a powder donut so i'll just take a little bit and dab it into my skin as much as I can and I'll also focus it up on my nose so that you know my nose can be snatched and I'll blend it out and have it sit for literally 30 seconds to a minute and then I wipe it off The only place that I'll really like bake is underneath my chin just so that I can have that like snatched effect on my face and that I look like I actually put some contour on you know I leave my powder on for literally like 30 seconds to a minute and this has been on too long so we're gonna wipe it off and when I'm wiping off my powder I'll just kind of wipe everything off together like i'm not really like precise when it comes to wiping off my powder the only place that i'm really like precise in is when i'm wiping off my nose because i don't want to wipe off the like the contour and have it look messy everything else just gets you know pretty much blended together and with blending it all together like that it just doesn't leave any lines of demarcation or any harsh lines from when I was baking. Okay, so the next thing that I do after I wipe off my powder, I'll go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This one is in the color Tan to Deep. And I don't even think that they sell this product anymore. Like, that's how long that I've had it. I've had this for like, has to be like eight or 10 years. Like, I don't think they sell this anymore. If they do, that would be pretty surprising because this is an old product. I'll just go in with a little fluffy brush that I have and tap it into the deepest one. I'll just go in to the exact same places where I applied my contour, just so that it brings back some color and depth to my face. One of the final steps that I do is I'll go in with a powder blush. The powder blush that I use is the Hoobia's Place blushed rougey i think that's what it's called this is in the color volume four i'll mix these two together just like that i'll tap off the excess and apply the exact same place i applied the cream blush and then sometimes i'll go in on my nose as well just to give you know like a little dainty cute look the second to last step that I do is mascara. I used to be a very long eyelash girly. Let me see if I still have them. My eyelashes used to be like super, super long. I don't see this, but like super long. Like they're literally spider eyelashes. And this is another one. These are like the biggest eyelashes I used to ever wear. Like those are, those are quite long. I actually don't wear eyelashes anymore, honestly. I just wear mascara. I feel like it's more... I don't want to say it's more classy, but like with getting older, long eyelashes just no longer are for me. So I just use mascara. And finally, the last step that I do of my makeup routine is my lips. Normally, I would use the NYX Brown Butter Gloss, but I lost it a couple weeks ago and I'm so upset. But 
we're gonna use a different liner today this one is the nyx makeup lip pencil this is in the color brown so this is what we're going to be using today just to give my lips a little bit of color i follow the natural line of my lips i don't feel like i need to overline my lips because i feel like my lips are already pretty full i'll literally just kind of shade my lips and just follow the outline of my lips and then I'll rub it in so that we can get some color in there. Sometimes I'll actually shade like my actual lips and not just the outer part because this pencil doesn't really have like a lot of color to it so sometimes I'll shade my actual lips. I feel like that's good. And then I also use the NYX. This is Milky Gloss. It's just, it's not a clear gloss, it's like a white gloss but I'll just go ahead and cover my lips with the gloss. And that is the final look. This is how the look came out and I feel like it came out so pretty today. I don't know. I don't know if it's the bob. Like I don't know if the bob is bobbing and making the makeup look better but I feel like this one came out so good. I feel like I look grown. I feel like I look mature. Like I think it's the bob. I think it's the bob. I think the bob is doing it for me. But anyways, that is the final look and that is the end of today's video. If you guys did like today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to hit subscribe because we would love to have you here and love to have you join the family. I will see you guys very, very soon in my next and upcoming video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!